we will be making a bat plane. So to start with, you're going to need an A4 sheet of printer paper. And we're going to be making two creases from the top to the bottom each direction. I've already folded this one off camera as I seem to struggle doing this quickly. So I'll just show you how it's done. Just folding firstly left to right. And then folding the other way. You need to make sure these creases are very accurate. Um, which is why I did it off camera and definitely took my time. So after you've made those two creases, we're going to flip it over. So the ridge is pointing upwards. And we're going to fold from the top down to the bottom. And then we'll open it back up. Then we can flip our paper over. We're just going to press down in the middle and then you should be able to grab each of the sides and bring them together and then bring them down towards the bottom. You'll find that with the creases they'll start falling into place and you should be able to squash your design down. And you'll be left with a triangle. We'll take our right hand side, we're just opening up this first flap, we'll open up the whole way, just press along that center crease. And we're taking this bottom tip right up to the nose. You may notice that this bottom corner here might get caught. If it does, don't force it the whole way to the nose. Just leave it a bit short, that's okay. And we'll fold this flap over to the right hand side. We're then gonna do the same on the left. So we're getting the top flap, opening it completely, pressing down that center crease, bringing this bottom point up towards the nose. Once again, if it does catch down the bottom, no need to force it. Take it as far as it will go and then create the crease. I'm just going to push that over to the left. And then just press down on the crease once again and flatten it out. Then we're going to be folding down the nose just down to this line here. It's important to make sure that this is right in the center of the line. Press down firmly, create a crease. The paper is getting quite stiff at this point. Then we're gonna be folding it back. We're gonna be creating a crease about one small finger width from the top. Just make sure that your nose is pointing straight ahead when you create this crease. So as you can see, we've got about one small finger width there. So we'll pick the plane up, flip it over, we're just folding it in half. So when we make this fold, we'll just get the wing tips to join up, which will make sure that we have equal length wings when we're complete. We'll press down firmly, at the bottom. Then we're going to fold each of the wings down. So for this one we'll have about one finger width between the bottom and where we create our crease. So bring the first wing down, press firmly, then we'll turn the plane over and we'll fold the other side down. So for this one just make sure that the wingtips line up equally again. Then when we create our crease, it will leave us with equal length wings. Okay, we can then open it up. We'll just place it so the nose is facing upwards. So we're going to be folding in the tips of our wings. So we'll take the left tip and we want this fold to run from this top point here 
down to the bottom here, just at the edge of this triangle. So we'll fold down, making sure the fold goes the whole way to the top here. And then bring it down just to the edge of the triangle and create a crease. Then we're going to do the same for the other side. So making sure the fold goes from the top point here down to the edge of the triangle. So we'll bring in the right hand tip, make sure the fold starts right at the top, touch the edge of that triangle down the bottom, and then create the crease. Next we're turning the back plane over. We're just going to be folding up the flaps at the back. So this fold will run from this point here to this point here. Lift up the flap. And create the fold. And the same for the other side. Running from this end point to this point here where it joins up with the rest of the wing. So we'll fold that up. And then we can turn our bat plane around. Lift the corners of the wings up. And that's our bat plane, ready to fly. Hope you enjoy.